Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I'm Jenny Coder. If you guys are new here, I pretty much do leak of stock questions and I explain things in the simplest way possible. So today we have a pretty interesting problem today. I'm very excited about it. So let's go ahead and read the problem statement. So it says given a length list for a swap every two adjacent nodes and return its head, right? It says you must solve the problem without modifying the values in the list nodes, right? It says only nodes themselves may be changed, right? So there you know yeah it's not gonna make it easy for us so pretty much they're saying guys you know we have to swap nodes in pairs guys pretty much you know swap um reversed pretty much that's what there's pretty much reversed you know every two nodes right so pretty much you reverse the first two nodes right then you reverse the second two set of two nodes right pretty much in pairs guys right so we're our golden all right so yeah guys uh, that's how we're gonna go boss so how we're gonna solve this guy is gonna be just like the problem that we did before which is um reverse length list two guys you know this it's the same algorithm that we're gonna apply to this problem so as you guys can see right you know after they swap their first two right numbers it becomes two one right it was one two then it became two one right then now the second set of pair right Pairs, right is this three and four and then you switch those two four and three right it becomes uh reversed you know what i'm saying so you guys can see they didn't reverse the whole thing right no they still reversed in pairs pretty much right? that's why they mean by swapping pretty much switching them position uh that's why you switch them position right pretty much you know you could pretty much say you know pretty much the reversing nodes and pairs guys that's the way that i view it guys so pretty much comes the same problem as the reverse length list two guys pretty much the same thing uh we had to reverse nodes from m and n right pretty much we were giving some boundaries and we had to reverse the nodes guys i'm saying so this one is in pairs so slight modification to the temp to the te template that we have that we're going to use guys i'm saying so the same code as the other one right and that template guys the way that the menu the manipulation of pointers, right? The way that I have it in that problem, guys, that template that I have can be can solve so many different problems when there's so much pointers that we have to keep track of and we gotta worry about, you know, applying that template to it, bam, the problem becomes easy, extremely easy as a matter of fact. All right, so how it's gonna work guys, pretty much now guys, you know, we're gonna have this curvable. So you guys should go check that other problem. I went through a lot of details, guys, you know, details that's uh, essential for you to gain the intuition to solve this problem so this the other problem has it um that's why i highly suggest you guys go check that out first and then come to this problem and then solve that problem and you guys will see how similar it is as a matter of fact when it comes to the solution and the thought process as well right so uh yeah guys so pretty much you can have this curve variable and a and a right variable right i mean a pre pre variable right pretty much the curve is gonna pretty much go uh Pretty much we, we, the preview is going to be one step behind curve, right? And then we're going to reverse nodes and pairs, right? So we reverse the first two, boom, boom, right? And then now, boom, we, we, we curve is going to be at three, and then we're going to have this previous previous variables that's going to be one step behind it, right? So pre variables after you reverse, right? So one is pointing to null, right? Um, which is pre, right? Two is pointing to one, right? So two is now the head of the sub list we pretty much treat them as sub list guys you know what i'm saying so that's the head now so now well, the head will be pointing to two now right that's why two is there right and then now uh this one that next right is going to point to this guy you know what i'm saying so yeah and then now for the next iteration guys you know we, we're gonna keep doing a while though right we're gonna be swapping the next two right we swap the first two boom boom and we swap the second two boom boom right so we keep swapping them together guys so we swap them in pairs guys right we reverse them in pairs right so yeah um that's how the old argument is going to work right so pretty much we're going to keep reference you know for parts that came before the uh pair that we're gonna that we're gonna reverse right yeah so pretty much guys you know we're gonna reverse pretty much you know we're gonna try to keep track I was trying to say keep track of on um, the some information about the previous part right that's not included in the uh 
pair that's about to reverse, right? So let's say once we get to once we're about to reverse this pair, right? You know, there's a there's a first part that's there, right? There's a previous part that came before it. So we need to keep track of you know that pointer, right? That's in the previous part, so that you know once we reverse the part that we're about to reverse, right? We have access to a node that belongs to, to the previous part, and then we get we can easily connect um, that node, right? Which is one, right? Point that to the new head of the part that we just reversed, guys. No, that's why I know. So it's the same thing that we did in the problem. So I'm gonna go through the code real quick, and as I'm doing it, uh, as I'm writing, I'm gonna show you guys, you know, how um, the whole algorithm is gonna work, guys. So pretty much, guys, you no, know, I promise you guys that we're we're gonna use a list node, right? List node curve, right? Let's go to head, right? And then um, a list node. Uh, pre right, which is behind um, cur is gonna go to null initially, right? Because you know, there's no node that comes before head, right? So that's why it's null initially, right? And then, guys, you know, we're gonna have this while loop, right? Our cur is not null, right? We're gonna be inside this loop, right? While cur is not null, guys, you know. And, guys, you know, one thing that we need to do, guys, you know, we need to take care of some things, right? So, um, last node right so last node our previous part right of brief part so brief part means whatever you know uh, since we're doing it in pairs guys you know uh last node of brief part is pretty much the node that's the last node that's not included in the sub list that we're going to do right so pretty much once once we're going to reverse those two right you know the last node of the previous part is going to be one right so one is not included in that um pair right that's why we get reference to it, guys. We need reference to that because, guys, later on, we're going to use that pointer, right? Because, you know, after we reverse the first two, right? You know, one will be there, but one will be printing at three, right? So, um, since it's doing that, right, we don't, we don't want to print at three. We want to print at four, guys. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why we take we hold the reference to that node, right? So, that we able to, we're able to change that node's uh, pointer to point to the right node. And that's, that's why we get reference to that right so we save that okay so hopefully that's clear that's a very very important part that you guys need to get right so prev the other problem has all the details right i went through a walkthrough with that that's you know what i'm saying so so now one important point that we need to take care of as well guys and which is going to be important is going to be um the tail of the uh list right so why we call it tail guys because pretty much you know all uh, the the head of the node right the first node of the list of the sublist, right? After the reversal, it's gonna become the last node, right? The last node of the sublist, right? Pretty much, it's pair, so it's only two nodes. So pretty much, you know, if this was was the first was the first node, there's gonna be the the second node, right? Pretty much, you know, becoming the last node, pretty much, right? That's why I call it the tail, right? So pretty much the tail of the sublist, right? The sublist, meaning that you know, this is a sublist, right? It's only of size two, right? And the other problem. Uh, the sub list that was included was like a little bit longer or it could be a, of any different size right so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it consistent so you guys can see the similarities uh, in the code right so tell of sub list right so tell of sub list right pretty much you know it's going to be wherever curve pointer is pointing out right because after we do, we do the reverse that that uh tell that no that was at the beginning right it's going to go to the back and then be reversed right so after we get both reference to that guys you know the next thing that's important that we need to do is going to be so we're going to have this index one right pretty much allowing us to control how many nodes that we reverse guys you know so we have a fixed size of index size uh is two right no 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 it's um i mean it's zero so we're gonna go up to two actually so we do while um the curves not all right we always do that Curves not no, and right, the index is less than two, right? So we, we're gonna be swapping at most two nodes, right? That's why we have this fixed size, right? And we're gonna apply, guys. No, remember, and then we keep like, incrementing the index pointer every time, right? And then we do this node, guys. You no, know, it's gonna be temp, right? So we know the reversing algorithm, guys. So if you guys are not good with the reversed, I highly suggest you guys go check out my reverse. Um, problem that I did right the introduction to reversing link list right it's a very important technique for you guys to master so you guys can solve more advanced problems right so pretty much guys you know um, we take a temporary reference of the 
next pointer, right? That curves pointing out, right? And then because we're going to be overriding that to point to the previous pointer that's behind us, right? Previous one step behind us always, right? So um, after we do that, right? Uh, we do preview now. It's going to be exactly where curves at now, right? And then curve now is going to be the original uh, next pointer that was there, right? And then we increment that, right? Boom, boom, right? So pretty much, you know, uh, one. So we're at one, right? One points to null, boom, right? And then curve goes here, right? And then pre becomes here now, right? And then now uh, we do um, this one points to um, to one, right? And then pre comes here, right? And then curve's there, right? So pre is at the beginning of the list. That's what I'm saying. After we do the reversal, guys, you know what I'm saying. So now, after we do that, guys, the next logical thing that's important, right? Remember how we held reference to those nodes, right? They're gonna come into play, guys. They're gonna come into play right now. So we do the last node, guys. You know what I'm saying. So we're gonna do a check, right? So we do if, guys. You know what I'm saying very similar to the other problem, guys. We if that the last node, right? A previous part is not null. The last node, of previous part, right, was not null. Let's say there was there was some um another uh, part right another sub, sub list that's was not in, that was that came prior to um that came prior to the sub list that i just reversed right so if there was a list before we reversed the nodes right if there was a part that came before us right if it's not null that means that you know which is the case when we're after we swap this sub list right to three four two into four three the last node of the previous part would have been a one, right? So that's why we're gonna connect that one to four, right? To do the right connection, guys. I'm saying this is what it's doing right now. Last node before that next, right? It's gonna point to pre, right? Pre is at the head now of the reverse. After reverse the node, pre is always at the head, right? I'm saying. Um, and then if it's null, guys, you know, which is the case initially, right? When we first get into this loop, right? Pre was set to null, right? Right, there's just no node no, that come there's no that come before um the head right so that means there's no part before the head so there's no previous part right that you see i'm saying there's no previous part and that's the reason right it's null so we do a check right if it's null then and that means that you know after we reverse one and two into two to one right it means the head now the head that that's the first case right that's the first that's the only case it does that right pre head um is gonna equal to pre right because preve is there now, right? So now head points to pre this one, right? And then guys, yeah. Um, after we do that, right? The next thing that's gonna be important that we do is to do um, the this, this is coming to play tell of sub list, right? Which is uh, let's say you now after we swap two to one, right? So we've swapped the first. Um, so we swap um, one and two, right? Into two to one, and then now tell right because remember we said tell of sublist cur right is was one right that's gonna be the tell of the sublist right and then that this is this one right there right so we're gonna do this node one right to point to wherever curs at cur that, that's before we swap this list right this sublist right cur points to this one right points to wherever cur is at this one after we reverse guys you know what I'm saying yeah so that's what we're gonna do the thing right now. So that next points to curve, right? Because guys, you no know, reverse one, two, right? So we reverse this one, right? One points to null. That's index is equal to one, right? We reverse two point to this one, right? Now previous there and curves there, right? And that's why we need to connect that to wherever curves pointing out, right? So we're gonna connect that to the list, right? And then now guys, you know the next thing that's important that we need to do. <coughs> sorry. Uh the previous pointer, guys, is gonna equal to the tell of sublist. I'm saying, right? Which is one, right? Because because previous always got to be one step behind curve, right? I'm saying, so one was there and three's there, right? So three's there, so curves there, and then previous got to be one step behind. That's why we now previous is equal to the tell of the sublist, right? Which is the one right? of the yeah, and then now for the next iteration, guys, you know the last node of the previous part, right? That's why is equal to preve now, right? Preve, you know I'm saying, which is we uh, before we went up the uh, loop again, right? We set the preve for the next part, right? 
to equal to the last node of the previous part, guys. Otherwise, it's going to be pointing out one now. So I'm telling you guys, our problem, I went through that in more detail. So uh, hopefully you guys are able to guess. It's a very crucial, crucial um, part that you guys understand, right? And after we do that, guys, we just return the head, right? And uh, I think we got everything correct, guys. Let's just, uh, let's run the code. All right, seems that we passed the small test case. Let's press submit. Perfect, guys. We're about to pass all the test cases, guys. You know, very fast algorithm, I'm saying. Yeah. You know, constant space and all of that, guys. So I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. If you guys found value, make sure to give me a like. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe because I'll be doing a lot of other videos just like this one. So uh, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.